This is a short video showing how to use the fingertip pulse oximeter. This may or may not be sent home with you to monitor your oxygen levels, or you may have one similar to it at home. When you open the box, you'll have a carrying case. You may or may not have a lanyard for it. The pulse oximeter looks like this or similar to it. If it's needing batteries, follow the instruction. You push, it opens the back, put the batteries in, lay it down and push opposite way to lock it in. This one has a power button. Click it. It says finger out. Not all of them say that, but this one does. Put your finger in. And see how it turned off? You can just click it again. There you go. Lay your hand flat on a flat surface, a table, your leg. Um, any movement delays the reading as well as may prevent from reading. So we recommend to lay it flat. The less movement, the better. And see, it takes a little bit. And as you can see, the SpO2 is 96. That's the oxygen level. The PR is 82. That's the pulse rate. So once you're done monitoring, you take it off. You don't have to turn it off. It turns off by itself. Put it back in your little carrying case or box if you don't have a carrying case and document that oxygen level.